such fans, we are actually allowed back out. Our great leader, Doris, has said, go on boys, as long as you're on your own, don't fill your boots. As you can see, the ground is waterlogged and this is all due to be under snow uh, in the next couple of days. So we've got this one shot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to this tree line, as you can see behind me. Now that is where uh, the coins used to be made or minted. So that is uh, where the mint used to be. So we're gonna get as close as we can to that tree line Hopefully we might even find some, some blanks. Hopefully we find some silver. That'll be good, it's been a while. Uh, let's have a look, let's see what we can find. Maybe we can find something interesting to talk about back at the ranch. And uh, I'll see you on the first hole. Well, we seem to have something round and coin shaped. It's not a coin, I can feel it's got a raised bit in the centre, so it's a button of some kind. Might have had some gilding on it. Ah, that's nice. Let's have a look at that later, shall we? Very good. Coin or button, what do we reckon? Let's try and get it in the light. It's a uh, button. <laughs> button. Pewter. Anything on it? I don't get anything on it. Well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Pewter button. Nothing exciting. We've found ourselves a very nice snake buckle. Get it in the light, can we see that? Try that way. There it is, still attached, look at that. You can put that on a belt and that will still work tomorrow. We won't know till we're back to the ranch. We can get a estimate date. No, it looks there's a bit of shine on there, look. Underneath all the crud. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Goes that way and then uh, loops on that way. Could be military, could just be a farm worker to be honest, with an old military belt. We'll have a look later on. Some of these are quite dateable. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Happy with that. Is it a coin? Again. Or is it a button? Let's come, if I come around that way. Oh, hello. Hello. Hang on, just, just hang on. Oh my. Ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha, mood. Hang on, let's just make sure I'm not hammer. I'm not talking rub hammer. Talking rubbish. There's people in their gardens looking at me. <laughs> I don't care. I'll right, just give that a clean. Hello. That's what we were looking for today. Let's have a closer inspection. Give it a field clean and we'll have a look. How much has that been clipped? I would have said it was bigger than a penny, possibly groat or half groat size. Quite a bit of detail on that side. Not much on that side. But we hit the books and we're asked the geniuses online. And we might, I mean that is beautiful condition. That's great, I'm really really happy with that. That's what we came for and that's what we got. Hammered! Woohoo! Now I thought it was a button and I thought it was a coin. I think it's an old percussion cap. Look at that. Might be able to get something for that later on. I can see London. We we'll clean that up back at the ranch and we'll get Mrs. Wife with her, her eyes that work and we'll see if we can uh, see if we can trace that, shall we? Excellent. Looks like we've got ourselves one of those tiny little tokens again. 
up until recently I hadn't seen them that small but now that's what the second or third one of those I think third yeah maybe third fourth tiny little things how cool I seem to have found the tusk of the smallest woolly mammoth ever found what on earth is that it's very solid it's heavy Any ideas? Answers on a postcard too. London Road Church. No idea. Too shallow to be a hook, I would have said. Hmm, curious. Boom, how about that? That is a little fleur de lis. Little mud there, look. Or a little cross. That's quite cool. Hello. I wonder what that is. That's quite cool. Hmm. We'll look at that back at the ranch. Well, the token on the left is the one that I said was small earlier on. Look at the size of that one that's just come out. That's crazy tiny. I can pick it up. There you go, that's on the tip of my finger. You'd be disappointed if you did today's work and, and that's all you've got to show for. <laughs> there you go, Governor, that's, that's my day's work. There you go. Knock yourself out. That's mad. And with the last swing, the last hole of the day, I think we've got ourselves an old toasted Roman. Not going to get a thing off it. It's the right shape, it's the right size, it's the right place. It's the corner of the field where we've had roaming out before. Oh, I can't see anything on that. It's just an old flat disc that once upon a time, uh, maybe something on there. We'll have a look later, but like, I'm not holding much hope. But I would have said that's an old Roman grot looking at it. Happy days. Watch again, we're back at the ranch. The snows did come, so I haven't been out. Uh, haven't been out today. I'll just go through some of the stuff that we found. Excuse the background noise. The two parrots are uh, making themselves known today. They want to say hello, but they could stay there. A uh, couple of bits of artillery, two twos, little musket ball. Now I think that's more than just a hook. It's very heavy. It's like I said on the video. I think it's part of a woolly mammoth. To be honest, if I'm honest, it's a metal woolly mammoth. That's, that's what I'm going to put it down as. Brass ring, bit of spoon, colour bits of buckles, buttons, more buttons than you can shake a stick at, and there's my range of uh, lead tokens from the from the day. It's not bad, is it? Quite mangled. That one's quite interesting. Couldn't find anything definite about it. But it was just the fact that it was commonly used in 16s and 17s. Yes, yes, birds, we can hear you. That's the buckle cleaned up. That's been soaking for a little while. If I put that down. It's nice, it's a standard issue, Victorians through to World War One, British Infantry, military buckle. If you go on the uh, Tinter web, it's even exactly the same size. No doubt as to what that is. No regiment or anything involved in that, that's just standard issue. There's our little Roman. Oh, even Dexter's having to go now, by the sound of it. Our little Roman, absolutely nothing on it, but from experience. It's the same size, same weight, same look as your Roman grot. Yeah, you see that in certain lights you can say, oh yeah, there may may not have been something on there, but I don't think so. This I think is a button. I haven't been able to completely identify it just yet. That's a work in progress, it's intriguing me. It's something and Sons of London, but it could be six or seven different companies. So we don't know yet. Last but not least, well not last, but there you go, and certainly not least. That I think is medieval stroke Tudor clothes hook. Goes on that way, and there was a little chain come along and hooked over to that. I think that's lovely. I really, really like that. Okay. 
that's it for those. Sorry about the birds and the chaos in the background, but that's just just life under lockdown, isn't it? That's just how it happens. Right, now let's talk about this. Now, what do we think about that? Heavily clipped, as we can see. Not much on the other side at all. I'll get right up to the lens. I can just make out right out of the way. There is a cross, you can just make out kind of a crown on there. But that's the side, that's the champion side, just put it up there. There we go. Nice lump of silver. Now it's called a Henry the Second penny, but it's known as a Tealby penny. Okay, now it's known as a Tealby penny because it in 1807 there was a chap going along out on the field, as you do. I'll put it down there. He was plowing away at his field and suddenly there was a kadump and he thought, what the hell? So he had an investigate and he dug up a Roman pot. Now this is a Roman pot. So this is 1807. He dug up a Roman pot. This is all a, a kind of allegedly. They're not really too sure if it was Roman, but the, the records say it was Roman pot. So a Roman pot that had um, nearly 6,000 of these coins in them. Uh, the... Uh, Henry the second pennies. So from that day since they've been called Tilby pennies because that's where the bloke found them. Now unfortunately these Tilby pennies, the landowner and a few other people that are quite uh, pr uh, uh, wealthy at the time, they all helped themselves and they had a handful each. Uh, some went to the museums, the British Museum, uh, and the rest of them went to, to the Tower of London, to the Royal Mint where they was all melted down and made into new coins uh, to pay for the Napoleonic Wars. So, <laughs> so there's beautiful, beautiful 900 year coins, 900 year old coins uh, got melted down. Melted down 200 years ago because we needed to pay to have a big punch up with Napoleon. So the Tilby, and it's, uh, they're also famous, one more thing they are famous for, they are officially the worst quality coins that Britain's ever had. I mean, they really are important. This, I am told by the people that know these things, this, I don't know if you can see that, I can't really focus it. You just see the vague outline of the, of the bloke's boat on there. His, his face. And you see that? Apparently this is a very, very good example. So, if that's the quality of your coinage, what's your quality of your, of, of your of your way of life? I mean, really. So that's that. So that is a Tealby penny from Henry the Second. Now, obviously, I, I've, I've said before, I, I'm based down in Canterbury in South East Kent, right down on the that little bit of England, right down there. Henry the Second was the man who came along and uh, had enough of our most famous saint Thomas a Becket he said who will rid me of this troublesome priest allegedly and some uh, couple of nights a little three nights at the time thought we're going to do that we're getting the king's books so they trotted down to Canterbury had a bit of a scuffle and uh, they chopped I think if, I, if memory serves me I think they, they kind of chopped the top of Thomas a Becket's head off one one big and off came the top of his head so that's it so that's that's uh, Thomas a. Beckett, Henry II, all synonymous with where I live. So that's not too bad, is it? Right, cheers for watching. See you guys on the next video. Hopefully when uh, the snows shift and this rampant disease decides to uh, leave us all alone, we can get back out there and we'll do some more. Till that time, see you soon.